Here's a recipe you may not have seen before. It's from last summer on our website, saltyfood.com. It's our summer pudding. <laughs> This classic British dessert is so simple because it uses just a handful of ingredients, some fresh berries, some white sliced bread and sugar. That's literally it, but the end result is stunning. Uh, so we'll start off by making syrup with some sugar and okay. just a glug of water. If you can just put that onto a low heat. Yep. That's all it needs just to bring up to kind of a, a simmering syrup. Simmering In the meantime, syrup. we can do our strawberries to go into the simmering syrup. And this is great for this time of year when you've got so many fresh berries going around. So we're using strawberries here. We've got what we've got over there, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. Loads of berries, you need a good mixture of berries for both colour and different flavours. And now that our sugar syrup is just beginning to bubble there, we yep. can put all of our strawberries in and all of these berries. Okay, they've got natural sweetness in as well. We want to get all of those berries in there. So much oh, colour. Oh, blueberry. there we go. And all we need to do is give that a little bit of a stir in the syrup and give it about two minutes or so just to start to soften and just begin to cook. You don't want to mush. You don't want to jam, but you just want them to start to soften and, and sort of leak out some of their juices. Okay. But in the meantime, we can look at our bread. All we need to do is cut off the crust to start off with. Yep. In nice stack, you can get rid of the whole lot in one go. But for this, we're going to need seven slices and a really, really cool summer pudding bowl. Obviously, you can use any kind of Pyrex bowl or glass dish. You're looking for something of just less than a pint in volume. And we're going to do two layers crossing over so there's no chance of it breaking or anything leaking. And then our berries already, look at that, just starting to soften and yeah. leach. We don't want to mash them up any more than that. So all I'm gonna do is pour them straight out into our colander. What does that do? We wanna save all the juices, because that's what we're gonna need, the juices in a minute for the bread, okay. and then the berries dry, okay? Next stage of our bread, seven slices. One slice, cut the corners off. And we need that for our bottom, okay? Now, the sides come from these ones, I mean one, two, three, four, and we need to cut them in half, but so the top is wide from the bottom. So cut half, sort of like that. Not straight, but just on the skew width. Perfect. The reason being when we put them in a bowl, the top is obviously wider than the bottom. These ones, the final ones on top, triangles and quarters, and now we've got all these fantastic juices. So what we're gonna do is take our bread and dunk it in the hot syrup, and then that goes colour side down in the bottom of our bowl. And then if you can do the same with all of these around the side, so just one side is fine, and slightly overlapping as you go round. So you have got to make sure these overlap, otherwise when you turn it out, uh, it'll all fall apart. Do I need to be pressing them against? Uh, no, or... just simply overlapping them. Okay. All of our berries go in here. This is where it's going to get a bit messy. Go for it. But they need to all sit in there. They're slightly... Oh, oh, I oh. I told you it's going to get messy, oh. but it's fine. Mm. This is looking very good, Ben. Very good indeed. So we push those right down. And then we put our triangles on top. Okay, okay so triangles into the middle, colour side up. Yep. And plug in all the extra gaps. And then what we do is pour any extra syrup that there is left over just over the top. Wow. Like that. That'll all soak in. Our cling film, fold in over, and now press down. Okay, so give that a good press. And what you need to do is put a plate on top, like so, and just push down again, and then put something heavy on top. So maybe some bacon potatoes or some tins or something like that, yep. tins of food, whatever, a weight, and then put it into the fridge overnight. Okay, and what that will do is the bread will soak all those berry juices, cool. it'll begin to set, it'll make it nice and solid, and as long as you've got the compression there, then you can turn it out nice and easily when it's done. So the pudding has set up overnight and have been compressed down, mm -hmm. so now we can start to unwrap it. Before we do that, our sorted twist. This is a flaming berry top. Okay, so this was inspired by a cocktail. So we've got a few berries. <laughs> Soaked in alcohol, make sure it's at least 40% and then burn off the alcohol, set light to it. And try and light the alcohol rather than the berries. There we go, now it's lit. How do you know? Because you put your hand over it and you can feel it burning. A little bit of flame, but what happened is the berries singe, the sugar sort of caramelised and the alcohol burns off. Wow. In the meantime, when we leave that to burn, you feel the heat coming off that now. Oh yeah, that's really alive. But we can take this out of here. Look at that colour. So it's got a fantastic sort of moby purple and it's all gone in there. There we go. Wow. That's what's left is our summer pudding. And then now you still want some of that alcoholness on there. Obviously it's completely optional the alcohol, but I think it's kind of cool. We'll just pour those over the top. Wow. Let's bring a bit from behind us. Garnish that on top. So there we go, our very own summer pudding with flaming berries sorted.
Mm, 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 mm. It just sings of berry. I know it's optional, but that bit of alcohol 